YouTubers, welcome back. I'd like to make this video to try to identify what it all means. Volts, current, power, amps, all that kind of thing. So, I'll get the whiteboard out and we'll just go over it with it a little bit. In electronics, you must know the triangle. Where V over I times R. Volts divided by amps times resistance. It's all relative. But where's P? What's P? What, what is what? What is P? What does it all mean? Well, volts is equivalent to the water pressure, so it's electrical pressure. Amps is I, which equals the amount of electrons or quantity of water, how many liters? R is the resistance, as so opposition to current. We don't deal with it in, in the off grid solar, but it is there. But how does P fit into all this? Well, it's also to say you can go V times I equals P. So P is basically the pressure, the result of putting the volt behind the current. So, we can change this around a little bit, since we don't deal with the resistance, we can put in our little triangle, V times I equals P. Why? Why are we doing this? Well, you want to know what you're building here. So, for argument's sake, you want to know what kind of wiring to use, what size and all the rest of it. So, for argument's sake, I'm using a 24 volt non system. Let's say 25 for round figures. So 25 volt times, I know for argument's sake, the example here would be the kettle, 2000 watts. So, if we go to a little triangle, we can put those in, we can find how much current, how many electrons are going through that wire. So, in a triangle, V equals 25, P is 2000, and I. That's what we're trying to find out. Simple. 2000 divided by 25. I can't add up too quickly, but we get the calculator out. So 2000 divided that by 25 equals 80. So we know now 80 amps. So direct relation 80 amps. That's I. I is amps current. Excuse my writing. So that works whichever way you do it. 2000 divided by 80 amps is 25 volts, or 25 volts times 8 is 2000. So people want to know why we go to the 48 volt system. Simple, as efficient, and it reduces the current. If you think about if it was 48 volts, it would be. Let's say 50 volt round figures, 50 volt, then you go 2000 watts, so 2000 divided by 50 equals 40 amps. So here, that would be 50 volt and 40 amps. So that's essentially what it is, the triangle which is V over I times R, get rid of the R, we just put P in there, and we'll work with power, which is the sum of volts, which is electrical pressure, how much force is behind the power pushing it, or the electrons I should say pushing it, which is I, which is amps, the quantity of electrons. So I'd like to think that sort of explains a little bit better what it means. 
I'll release the next video on the current flow, electrons, how it moves in the system. So stay tuned for that one. But hopefully this video explains a little bit on what we're doing. So like I say, amps. If this was 12 volt, I would need to double the wire. At 48 volt, I can halve that wire. But anyway, you know what to do. Please subscribe, drop comments, ask questions, and stay tuned for the next video that's going to explain a little bit how the electrons move in the wires. Thank you very much, and see you next time.